A common misconception says that Macs cannot get viruses, when they in fact can. Just not the same way that, let's say, a Windows machine would. Recently, there was a lawsuit between the European Union and Apple for their alleged monopoly on the iOS app stores. In one way, the freedom of choice and the choice itself of installing an app that has been compromised or it has been infected intentionally with a malware is implied. In another way, people should be informed on the choices they make and be taught of the risks of installing said apps, instead of just laying a blanket over the whole issue. However, I believe it's a good time to talk about malware on Apple devices. How Apple protects its users, why is it harder to get malware on Mac, how to protect yourself, and a few other things. Let's start by reiterating the same issue. Macs don't get viruses. Eh, wrong. They can. It's just considerably harder to create a virus than on Windows because it is just simply way more restrictive in terms of permissions. The other thing is that according to the findings from Statista, the global market share held by PCs running macOS is just 15% compared to the Windows that is 72%. So whenever someone says that Macs don't get viruses, it's because generally speaking, there isn't such a big interest in creating them compared to devices that run Microsoft operating system. Imagine that you are a bad actor looking to make some dirty online money. The best rate of success for you would be to try to infect as many computers as possible. So your first choice would be to exploit Windows vulnerabilities. Those factors combined with Apple's restrictiveness just makes Macs less likely to get a virus, rather than not being able to. You still have to look out for phishing attacks, adware, and things of that nature. When it comes to malware on iOS versus malware on Windows, Apple made it harder to get their computers infected, but it is still possible. However, Mac malware and viruses are rarely found in the wild. More often than not, you hear about big profile trojans and ransomware attacks targeted strictly at Windows devices, and there were no threats to Macs. Apple has various measures to guard against such threats. For example, macOS shouldn't allow the installation of third-party softwares unless it's from App Store or identified developers. But now, not anymore with the new European Union regulation. In addition, Apple has its own built-in anti-malware tool, the same like Windows with Defender. Whenever a file is downloaded, it checks it against the list of malware that exists within Xprotect and blocks it if it returns positive. Anyway, their best line of defense at the end of the day is their restrictiveness. Me not uh, download and install uh, fishy files, uh, me not get viruses. Plain and simple. Another thing is that Apple is saying in their Apple Platform Security Guide that the M-series chip that Apple has been using for a while now it's a little bit more secure than Intel or AMD. However, Silver Sparrow malware was found on the first M1 device soon after launch, so maybe they are not that secure. What are a few examples of malware that you can get on your Mac? One of the most recent examples is more of a flaw than an actual malware, and it surrounds the somewhat older Intel-based Macs. The name of this vulnerability is Downfall and it can exploit a flaw in the advanced vector extensions of those Intel CPUs. It works by exploiting a particular gather instruction that it is executed to access data from the RAM that the program should not usually have access to. It can extract and steal passwords, bank details, encryption keys, emails, and almost everything. Given the fact that there remains a strong market for people looking to purchase a macOS device at a more reasonable price, you can find a lot of those computers almost everywhere, so nobody is spared. Another one is Exploit HVNC. This malware can infest your Mac and be used by hackers to gain remote access of your Mac without you being aware of it. Another one is Shadow Vault. This one is a little bit scary because it steals your usernames, passwords, credit card details, even data from crypto wallets. Not a pleasant experience. And one more is XMRig. This one doesn't steal anything and doesn't give remote access to your computer to anyone, but it uses your Mac. This is a crypto mining software which is usually attached to pirated copies of Final Cut Pro. XMRig is actually a legitimate software and it is open source, but in this illegitimate use, it's running in the background mining cryptocurrency 
and affecting your computer performance. Then the cryptocurrency is sent to the attacker's wallet. Now, how to protect yourself against malware if you have a Mac? We talked about instances where your Mac could be compromised, but the best way to avoid it is to prevent it. Generally speaking, everybody that is using a computer should be way more informed about this issue. And we should know how those viruses spread and infect computers. First thing is to not download cracked software. A lot of those softwares come together with some malware that is piggybacking on the advertisement of being free. I mean, yes, it is free, but it might come with a cost. The second thing is to try and verify that the places that you are downloading the files from are legitimate. The developers are verified and just don't download things for the sake of it. You should be proactive and always on the lookout for something that looks suspicious. If you are looking for a particular program that most people deem impossible or non-existent, but a single app from a website on the Google search page pops up and says, wait, I can do it. It's usually too good to be true. Famous examples include Advanced Mac Cleaner, Mac Adware Remover, and Mac Space Reviver. They sound inviting and like they will do something good to your computer when the exact opposite happens. I hope this will make you think twice when you want to download something that looks fishy. And maybe save your data from being stolen. Stay safe on the internet. Now, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, ding dong the notification bell, and also leave a comment down below and tell us if you were ever hacked. Also, our latest two videos are right here. Bye.